What is up? Apex Reaper here. Welcome back to more Star Ocean The Last Hope. Hope you guys are having a great today. Huge shout out to everyone part shoot shout out to everyone part of the team. Oh so amazing. Hope you guys are well, I really say hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are having a great day again. And we can pick that up now since we used uh, all 20 of them in that last fight. But yeah, we just came off a pretty uh, fun boss battle that I had to take solo. Oh, there's a heal thing over here. That's good. It's like right over here, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. It's good. We need that. Oh, that, that, that felt. Yeah, that touch was a good touch. It was a good touch right there. All right. And now we're heading back to the village to report that we failed. Or at least they think we failed. I guess. There's no, like, fast travel thing, is there? No, I don't think so. No. We just gotta run it. And I want to know if those... Um, what are they called? Karn Donarni on no, 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 monsters are going to be around here. Because we saw in the cutscene, they disappeared. I should battle, because I do need the experience. Well, whatever. I guess I'll leave him alone. Uh, how do I get out of here? Uh, I should be able to take this way. Because it looks like all paths are... I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't like flying enemies. Oh, I'll take you on. Um... Come on, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. There we go. Okay, keep on touching. Did we just shatter that one? I think we did. I got him. Back up. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Maybe now I can be of some help to everyone. I must become stronger. Nice. Oh, we learned silence. All right. Before I forget, I want to go characters, tactics, Lemel to fight. Freestyle, not full force. I should definitely change them all to full force when we get the next boss, if I remember. How do I get out of here? This one. We are not seeing the carny no 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 monsters, so I guess they are really gone. He's like, how do you get over there? I never found out how to get over there to that chest, which I don't see. Meh, whatever. This way, quite a bit of save points over here. Oh, I guess we got a battle. I'm good. I thought I turned, so I thought it was gonna be a uh, surprise. I'm gonna beat you. Just stand here. I don't know what other ones can hit by what, but hey, that was a two percent increase. There's a lot of crap going on right now. <laughs> I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. But hey, two percent. This feels pretty good, Kate. Nice, nice, nice. Get those levels in ranks. I'm saying, why are we moving so slow? Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run, run and press the button. Over and over and over again. We move so slow. Oh. Oh. I thought we were hitting a cutscene. Can I stay on the shore? Where do you lead? Nowhere. I had the... But can I stay? No. Fine. I will walk on the slow, slow ice. Super slow. Super useless. I don't understand why this is here. Go! But yeah, we have not seen any of the um, lizards. So I guess they are gone. We gotta take this over here. So are we ever gonna get that bridge over there fixed? Hmm. Curious. I mean, it's still broken. Alright, Grandpa. Hopefully you're not dead. Limo's gonna be very sad. Uh-oh. No one here.
Apparently, the Boculus patients mutated into terrible beasts. They lost all reason, attacking their families, the village, and finally... <sighs> Lim! How many times did I tell you? They die if you don't water them. Grandpa, I wasn't able to save you. I... I'm sorry, Grandpa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lucia. We found the source of the sickness. However, we were unable to recover it. The symbol stone shattered, along with the source of the disease itself. I see. The patients started screaming and then turned to stone, just as that column of light appeared. I was worried it might have happened here, too. Column of... Light? You think this happened because of a column of light? Edge? No, it's because we failed. No. If the source had remained, more and more would have grown sick. Now you've destroyed it. Who would condemn such an act? She speaks truth, Edge. That strange object was the cause of all this suffering. Hmm. Perhaps we should make discovering its origins our new objective. Hmm. Lim? We're going back to the sky. We have to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. But what do you want to do? You know, Lim, if you still feel the same as us, if you think of us as your friends, just like the way we think about you, and if you want to come along with us in our journey, I'm going with you. Ludi? I'm going to come back as a Master Symbologist, Kay. I'll be waiting. So sad. Her grandpa died. Hey, pigeon lady. You ain't got no pigeons. You got a uh, pigeon. Fill me up. I pay the 800, even though I don't want to. What's, um, there's an exclamation point. This one? I'm going now, Grandpa. And it's so sad. Right, Ludie. Come back soon, Lim. No matter what happens, I want you back here smiling, all right? Okay, I'm going to be a master symbologist when I get back, okay? Man. Poor people. Hey, man. The people who turned into monsters. Goodness. They were out of control. I thought we were dead for sure. Wouldn't dare attack someone who might... We wouldn't dare attack someone who might be a relative. But we could hardly run away from them either. One of them protected the village until the very end. Though, he was so mutated, I couldn't tell who he was. It's that stone near the statue, the center of the village. Aw, Grandpa protected the village. That's nice. Chilly old crone. She actually tried to protect me. That's certainly a first. Sniff, mommy, I was so scared. Sob. No, sob it. I want to talk to her. No, her. Oh, oh, crap. No. Get the monster. Whatever. 
Thank you. You're going, right, Limo? Well, we'll be all right. I'll make sure everyone's smiling for you when you get back, so don't worry about us, okay? <gasps> Kitty. Meow, meow. Oh, God. That's all you had to say. Uh, I didn't talk to you. Snip, Grandma! Yeah. So sad. We're out of here. This is the exit, right? Yeah. This is the one I want to use. Alright, back yeah. to the ship. Where are we going now? Next, I guess, next planet? I mean, I guess this one wasn't good enough for us? Or it's... Yeah, I guess it's already yeah. inhabited and we don't want to impose on them. How do I get back to my ship? This way. Leave these guys alone. Yeah. I should just spend some time leveling. I really yeah. should. Alright, we're back. I guess... Oh, we can talk to Lemo. Hi. Wow, Edgy, your ship is so huge. Hmm. Where do you think everyone is? This is item creation, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, launch interface. Ooh, where'd you find that one? Nice. New recipe, Earth Soul Bowl. Cool. Well then, what can I do you for today? We have smoking. Already know what you want to make? I need a torch bow and one more earth gem. Crap. Well, I guess I can't do that. I was thinking there was going to be a scene between her and Limmel. But I guess maybe we got to take off first. We can go check up here. Is anybody up here? Uh, there is someone up here. Okay, these things I think are just like room direct. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, can I? Yeah. Um. Well, maybe for a little while. Okay, Edge. <laughs> yes. Does that mean she moved to my room? We're rooming together now. She did not. <laughs> I wonder if that would change anything. Who's in here? Ha, ah, face. Edge, I've been hoping to ask you this for a while, but what is your home world like? Our home world, huh? Well, its surface is covered by deep blue ocean, mother of all life. The life born of that sea is nurtured by sweet, verdant breezes. It's a pure, shining star. Born in the black vastness of space. Fruit of a billion uncountable miracles. That's our homeworld. That's Earth. I see. So that's your homeworld. I should I should love to see. I should love to see such a beautiful planet. Yeah, me too. I wish I could have seen it with my own eyes. The Earth, they say, was so blue, so beautiful. You wish? Yeah. I only know from seeing old historical records and such. The original form of our homeworld? I mean... Wait, what does that mean? We aren't very grateful children, FaZe. We no longer have the luxury of set, uh, setting eyes on our beautiful mother planet. We can't even survive on her surface. That's why we had no choice but to set onto the space like this. We're here to carve out that new road into the future. A heavy responsibility indeed. Sure is. We have accomplished our mission at all costs. We have to accomplish. Someday, on whatever new homeworld we migrate to, we'll recapture the beauty of Earth. I feel great sympathy for that ideal. I pledge to aid you with all the strength I can muster. Thanks, FaZe. We're, ca we're counting on you. Yes, sir. Oh, we got the blue 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 Anybody in here? Anybody up here? Yes. Someone's up here again. It's FaZe. Hey, FaZe. Don't think I've ever seen you looking so giddy. What's up? Ha! Huh. Does it show my face? Yes, I must admit I'm a bit excited. Well, that is certainly surprising. I never took you for the excitable type. Well, I've never been outside the Eldarian solar system before. It's so thrilling. I feel as though I, can, I can't contain myself. Wow, and here I was, assuming you had tons more experience than me. The tales of my surf, uh, space-faring brethren tell have always enthralled me. Out here in the vast cosmos lie worlds I've never seen, people I've never met. 
Just thinking about it makes my heart skip a beat. I'm with you, FaZe. Our planet Earth was so small, but space is limitless. We could keep on going forever if we wanted to. It really gets me, physically and emotional. I get so excited, I almost can't breathe. It's like I can't sit still. To be honest, sometimes I get so caught up in it, I find myself nearly forgetting my duties. It's shameful to admit, but I know exactly how you feel. I mustn't allow myself to forget about the future of Eldar and our search for a habitable planet. A habitable planet? You're in the same boat as we are? I suppose we never had the opportunity to discuss it, have we? It pains me to say, but Eldar is no longer for this is no longer for this universe. Not long? Eldar's sun has begun to swell into a red giant. Once the sequence is complete, our planet's annihilation is inevitable. Oh. According to our observations, we have some 260 years until Eldar is completely destroyed, but only 60 until it becomes unable to sustain life. Our, what, what, we must find our promised land before that happens. Our utopia, Lemuria. Your utopia, what's Lemuria? An Eldar legend passed down from ancient times. Many thousands of years ago, somewhere in the depths of space, contact was lost with the first Eldarians to attempt manned space travel. The last words were transmitted were Lemuria, Utopia, yeah, it's nothing more than a legend and a questionable one at that. Nevertheless, our people are fated to abandon Eldar. We have no choice but to cling to those words. The search for Lemuria. This is our guiding principle. Wow. I don't know what to say. I had no idea. Earth is in a bad way, but it looks like Eldar is too. Yes, it is a great situation indeed. There is no time to be excited. Well, I don't know about that. Eldar's crisis is one thing, and this is another, you know? Pardon? You should be enthusiastic as you like. It's not going to change the situation, so why be down on yourself? It's actually good advice. I think we should be excited about space exploration precisely because our planets are in danger. I'm sure a positive attitude would lead to a better result. Edge. That's how I see it anyway. I see. That way of thinking would never have occurred to me. I'll be sure to follow your example from now on, Edge. That's actually incredibly good advice. Anybody on this? What? How many times could I talk to FaZe? I mean, we're learning a lot, so it's cool. I'd rather talk to Remy, but okay, we'll talk to you again. Edge, I'd like to apologize about the other day. Huh? What other day? The matter of... of your father. Oh, that! I already told you! It's nothing to get yourself worked up about. My question may have motivated... may have been motivated by mere curiosity but I forced you into a recall of such painful memories. No apology could possibly suffice. Well... There's nothing to apologize. The past is the past. You've got to live it. We don't live it, but you've got to acknowledge it and move on. There's nothing to apologize for. There's nothing to apologize for. Sure, my father's death was very sad, but I never let it get me down. Why is that? If I recall correctly, both of your parents are... I don't have any relatives, so Remy's parents took me in. Remy's parents? They were both wonderful people, but more importantly, I had her. Ah, I understand now why you two are so close. I can never thank Remy's family enough. How could I ever possibly complain? It'd be bad karma. I see. I understand completely, Edge. And yet, I came to you with unbidden concern. Dredging up an issue that I had that had already been resolved. Haha, <laughs> you really are an earnest guy, aren't you? But seriously, I appreciate the thought. Thank you, Face. Edge. Of course. Okay, so that should be caught up. Yeah, okay. And that's the save point. And what's, I think that's a bed to rest up in, heal up. We don't need to heal up. Alright, let's go back down. I think you're just going to talk about the ship. Yeah, your ship is so huge. And then no one's in the item creation room, so we go here and take off. Okay. 
We're going to the stars. Hey, I'm the captain. Lim seems to be feeling a little better now. I don't think she's completely back to her old self yet, but hopefully we can help with that. Mm. Drawing. Drawing. Lim, hey, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lim, honey, the ship belongs to everyone. Analyzing okay. the data already? Uh, well, there is much to ponder. And besides... Here, sit down like a good girl. It's dangerous to run I around like that, okay? have to be like doing that, something. Okay? <sighs> we don't have much data about the object. The Cardianon's aim, however, I have discovered. You might call it colonization by force. Oh. In other words, invasion... Sounds to me like they don't deserve much sympathy. If those were their plans for... Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's just that... It occurred to me I don't even know this planet's name. Uh, the name of Limmel's home world, I mean. Hmm. Judging from the level of their civilization, it's possible they may not even have one. Lemurus. Huh? Lemurus. That's what Grandpa said. Lemo Lemory Fi. That's my name. I got the world's name, Kay. Lemuris. Hmm. That's a really nice name, Lim. Hmm. Thanks. I like it. Edge. There's some data here I think might interest you. Ooh. That's the Aquila. Yeah. Where'd it go? Crow. Who would have thought we'd catch his trail here, of all places? What shall we do? I await your instructions, Captain. I hereby issue new orders for SRF-003 Kalnis. To further research the abnormal conditions on colonization candidate planet Lemuris, and to search for the lost Aquila, we set course for Arcturus-8. Faze, you'll have the co-pilot seat from now on. Yes, sir. Kalnis, prepare for launch. Yes, yes sir. Okay, <laughs> sir. Okay. <laughs> mm uh, oh, she's in here. Okay, I was like, uh, Grandpa. Aw. What up, dude? Are you sure it was such a good idea to bring Limo along? Yeah, she's a good healer, dude. And she got a puppy. Oh, well. I suppose there's no point in dwelling on it. We're ready to depart for Carnion. Oh. Oh. We're going to go to their home world. Oh, okay. I, well, like, they never said that planet's name before. So, I, well, they, if they did, I don't remember it. So, I was really confused when he just, like, shouted out a planet's name. Please give the orders when you're ready. Hi, Remy. Poor Lim. I suppose Gimdo was the only family she had left. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be ready to talk about all that stuff. Uh, we launch. Let's get into space so we can have some more conversations. Cardi, no, 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 no. Yes. Aw, more sadness. It's been a, it'll be a while before we reach Cardinon. Now it's a good time to get some rest. Or talk to everybody. Hi. Edge, there's an incoming transmission for- No, I don't want it. Don't want it. Here we go again. Shimada and his endearing little lectures. This is Heinz, personal aide to Moonbase Commander. I hope I've not disappointed you. Oh, no, sir. Likewise, I hope we haven't, uh, disappointed you. Ugh, <sighs> really, Edge? I'd like to request an update on your exploratory activities. Yes, sir. If you will, then. We did things. I see. Carnarion. Eighth planet of the Arcturus system. 
How do you all know this? We believe we found the trail of the lost Aquila, sir. We like to search for her as we continue our mission. Be that as it may, the star systems in that region are completely uncharted territory. As captain, this of course falls within your dearest dis dear, uh, discretion. That word. But you are sure you certainly what you certainly consider the dangers? Of course, sir. We prepared to encounter a certain amount of danger. And we prepared to overcome it. You have my insurance. We can handle we can handle continued exploration and search for the Aquila Bolt. The captain has a crew's full support, sir. Interesting. It's just as I heard. Uh what is that, sir? Commander Grafton of the Exploration Base told me about you. Your team may not be the most conventional one, but your talents are clearly obvious. You managed to get out of a quite what you managed to get out get out of no, you managed to get out of quite a situation back there in Aos. Much is expected of you, and not just by Commander Grafton, but by Commander Kelly as well. Who's that? Go. Fulfill your mission for the people of Earth. We'll be waiting for a favorable report. Over and out. Wow. They expect much of you now, Edge. Even light speed can Oh, that dude. A hero. They... They'll get what they're expecting then from all of us. Of course. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Who's that? Uh-uh. I don't want to talk to you. I talked to you enough. Remy. Uh, hmm. Lemo's right there, so there won't be a scene between her and the creator lady. Let's talk to the, uh, Remy. Tra la la. You sure are chippy today, Remy? Of course I am. Today's a special day, you know. Oh, uh, special day? Special, special. Uh, come on, Edge. Don't tell me you've forgotten what today is. Oh, no, no, of course I know. Today is, uh-huh. Mm, can't be the last day I ever die. That's just rude to say. Your birthday. Your birthday, right? You remembered. Why should that surprise you? Come on, we grew up together. Oh, yeah? So why did you pretend to forget just now, huh? Well, I, uh, you know, we're in the middle of all this, and I couldn't get you a present or anything, so... I just... Felt bad. Ah, screw it. It was a lame excuse anyway. I'm sorry, Remy. I should have remembered to get you something. It's okay. You remember the day I was born. That's enough for me. That makes me happier than any present could. Thank you, Edge. I'll get you a real present next year, okay? Promise. Hey, so today's our birthday. That's nice. Alright, where's everyone? All upstairs, or there's possibly a scene in here. We gotta try it. Edgy. Yeah, I was hoping. Come here, come here, come on, quick, Kate. What are you in such a hurry about? There's some kind of weird swishy swooshy noise coming from back there, Kay. A weird noise, huh? <sighs> Stay close to me. Kay. Phase? Uh, wow, this is somewhat awkward. Mmm, Baze, what do you think you're doing? I'm just practicing my sword work. Why are you angry? Hmm. Sword training, huh? Would you like a sparring partner? I appreciate the offer, but, well, perhaps once I've polished my skills a bit more. Oh, yeah? Sorry to bother you then. Let's go, Lim. Hmm. Hiding.
Going out and practicing isn't like Faye's, Kay. Really? I think trying to better himself behind the scenes is very like Faye's. Why you gotta have a creepy smile like that, man? Alright. Yeah! I got all excited when I heard you'd made a new friend, but she's just a little kid. Don't judge a book by its cover, Welch. Limel here is someone we can rely on. Edgy. But just look at her. She's a child, no matter how you cut it. Come on, what can you possibly rely on her for? Mm. I'm not a child, Kay. Huh? What? <laughs> you can't even tell the difference between a hologram and the real thing! You're a child, a baby, a fetus! <laughs> mm. Couldn't lay a finger on me even if you tried, little girl. Uh, do you have multiple personality disorder or something? Now I'm really mad, Kay. Get her, doggy. little girl. Limo, was it? Not bad at all. Hey, let's shake and make up. You may be all see-through, Welchie, but you're not so bad, Kay. <laughs> she fell for it! She fell for it! Yep, she's still a child, all right! <laughs> Hey, you! Get back here! Good grief. <laughs> I was expecting a scene. That was pretty good. Oh. Wait, what? But the puppy's there. But I want to go talk to Raimi. Where's Raimi at? Raimi's a bull. I'm curious, but I'm also rather go talk to Raimi. Where's she at? What? She's not here? Where is she? You in here? No. In here? Hello? Nope. You in here? Hello? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. So apparently you don't get to talk to Raimi in this. Yeah, she's not there. Is she there? I guess we go, cause she's not. I mean, she's got to be. You're not sitting on her, are you? No. Why do you have a pink, a, a pink bow tie? There she is. Oh, you're up here. I'm like, where'd you go? Wonder what kind of planet Cardian on is like. I'm a little worried. What with our experience in that celestial ship. I hope Crow's okay. All right, I was kind of expecting a little scene. I'm gonna talk to the puppy. My puppy. Can't talk to the puppy. Alright, FaZe, what's going on here? Hey, what's up, you two? Edge, please, maybe she'll listen to you. It's much too dangerous to summon Cerberus in a place like this. My doggy won't be back, Kay. He's a good boy. Look, Kay. <gasps> See, it's just fine. There's nothing to be scared of, Kay. I am certainly not scared. Then you try, FaZe, Kay. Uh, very well, then. <laughs> this is your good boy? Hmm. 
I guess I messed up. What? Did you just say you messed up? I really don't think you should summon him around here, okay? Aww. Let her have our puppy. Uh, okay, we gotta find people again. You in here still? Who is it? Don't wanna talk to you. Are you up here? Aha! What you doing? Just chilling? Hey Edge, I'm curious. When you were looking at the stars like this, do you ever think about the past? The past? You know, take Crow for example. Do you ever think about the time you first met? I don't remember it at all. Really? I remember it clearly. When was it? Back before we started secondary school, right? I can't remember exactly why, but you suddenly got into a fight when you first met each other. Crow was so strong and he kept knocking you down, but you get back up every time. I just stood there watching, worried half to death, but before long the two of you started to look like you were having fun. It got dark, as dark and starry as this, even... is this even, but you guys just kept on fighting. I never have imagined, I never even imagined to knock him down once, did I? Maybe not. But the next time, you completely made up. I was just a kid back then, too. But it was amazing to me. Yeah, I don't remember making up with him. That's the night he became my sworn rival for life. Teehee. <laughs> they have another word for that, you know. It's called best friend. The next time you see Crow, we see Crow, I hope we can take some time to sit back and stare at the stars. All three of us. It's no fun if I'm reminiscing all by myself after all. Yeah, we'll do that. Do 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 do. Anybody up here? Nah. No. Maybe. Maybe not. I know there's a scene there, but nope, not there. Oh, all three of you. What are you? Are you eating cookies? Without me? What are the three of you up to? I baked some cookies. Want some? Yes. Wow, Remy's home baked treats. How long has it been? They're really yummy, Kay. It looks like. What? Kind of looks. Kind of like the ones Letty. Oh, kind of like the ones Letty always made. I like them a lot, Kay. <laughs> Thanks, Lim. Remy, I too find myself profoundly moved by your cooking skills. I never guessed that something so closely resembling my own favorite dish existed in the culinary culture of Earth. Uh, now... that's just flattery. <laughs> no, not at all. I may not be a limo, but I have developed a quite a great affection for your cookies as well. Good thing you put an S on there. Uh-oh. I don't want any more. <laughs> huh? Why not? I thought you loved them. I don't want them. Not a phase likes them, okay? My, my. There's really no need to play the martyr here. Hmm. I don't like you, phase. Bleh. She gone. Well, she's nothing if not consistent. What was that all about anyway? Lemel seems to be displeased that we both enjoy the cookies. She can be so absent 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 night, whatever. About the strangest things. <laughs> oh well. If that's how she prefers to be, I'm quite fine with her being that way. Sounds like you two need to become friends. Now approaching destination coordinates. Please prepare for warp out. I will in the next episode, everyone's... Oh, we can't talk to anybody anymore because they're all there. In the next episode, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new and you haven't. Subscribe for more content. Huge shout out to everyone part of the team. Oh, so amazing. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?